Hey Wanderers, I'm Ron, and the man that's behind the camera, welcome to Wanderloft. Today, let's take a culinary adventure. All right, so I am by no means a baker at, at all, but I do love carbs. I absolutely love carbs. Uh, so I, I ran into a recipe the other day, because, but because I'm no baker, I'm very careful with the things that I do. If you really want to see great baking, you need to go see my friend Mark and his Instagram channel at uh, Buck's Dough Bakery. That man can bake, and I would right now drive across the country to eat some of his pretzel bread. But I don't have that here. And the other day, I was on Facebook, and a friend of mine, Pam, posted a recipe for beer bread. Because apparently the city uh, right now is low on yeast. What a weird thing. But you know what does have yeast? Beer does. So, how do we make beer bread? It's extremely simple, and I thought we'd, we would do that today because I want to eat bread. So, it's a really simple recipe. You need three cups of flour. I use just regular all-purpose flour is what I've got right now. I'm sure you could use something else. You're going to need uh, two tablespoons of sugar, uh, just regular old imperial sugar. You need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder, not baking soda. Big difference. And then you need a half a teaspoon of just good old table salt. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these ingredients, all the dry ingredients, and you're going to mix them together. So we're going to dump all those in there. And then I just get one of these and just make sure that those dry ingredients, that they are all good and mixed together. So once you've got that done, then you're going to add uh, the actual real ingredient that, that makes this fabulous, which is beer. And it's any beer of your choice. Now, I've, I've already made this recipe twice before going on this journey with you guys. Uh, for my first, I used a, uh, a porter uh, from Manor Hill Brewing. Uh, thanks, Brandon. Appreciate that. For the second one, I used their amber. Now, what was awesome about it is that the, the one made with the porter was an extremely dark beer, and, and you could taste the, the, the richness of the porter in, in the bread. Uh, the amber is a much lighter beer, and, and the color difference in the two breads was, was just uh, very amazing and very good. So, But since you probably don't have Manor Hill, wherever you are right now, we are going to go with just the timely favorite of a good old Guinness. So we're gonna we're gonna take this liquid bread and make some real bread. I'll do it yet now. All right. So you literally you open your beer. You don't drink it as much as it might be tempting. You just pour it in. First of all, it smells wonderful. It smells like a beer. Uh, so if you like beer, it just smells great. Uh, and really, all you're doing here is, is is stirring it up, making sure that all the dry, dry ingredients have gotten wet. Uh, you don't need it. It doesn't have. You don't need it. It doesn't have to rise. You don't have to do anything. And it, it does. It looks very wet for a bread dough. Uh, but but that's how it's supposed to be. So we're gonna we're gonna put that into our already pre-greased bread baking pan. Do our best to get it spread out. So I nearly forgot the last ingredient uh, because I, it, you don't need it till the very end, and that's simply four tablespoons of melted butter. Um, and all you're going to do is, is drizzle, and it says drizzle, but it's a lot of butter, so it ends up just sort of pouring over the top, and you're like. Ron, that is an insane amount of butter, and you're right, it seems like it, but trust me, it just works, and it's delicious. So that's it. So now we're going to put it in the, uh, the oven. The oven's been preheated to 375, and we're going to pop it in there for about 50 to 55 minutes. And so we're going to uh, give it almost an hour, uh, and then we'll see how it turns out. All right. 55 minutes have gone by, so let's see how our bread turned out. Ooh, 
looks good. Let it rest and cool. We'll slice her and try her later. Oh. It'll just slip right out. Isn't that good looking? You ready to try some? I guess. <clears throat> I haven't tried any yet. This is loaf number three, and I haven't had no. it. I haven't had any. I could just say it's because you eat it too fast, but that's not true. It's not true because there is some left from the uh, the amber. I'll take the outside piece. It's a little, a little crustier. I just want to split that. Sure. Just as delicious. Actually, the Guinness may have made the best loaf yet. Because that's good. Okay. I know I said no more hats in the videos, but I have not had a shower since working out. So, hat today. It's warm. That's nice. Mm-hmm. I don't like Guinness, and I don't, don't like, like beer. Right, you don't like any beer. Even Guinness from the Guinness factory. It's, don't talk about that. Was not good to me. Ooh, just watch them out. Okay. But I mean, it tastes like bread, and it's been soaked in butter, so I don't know how it could be bad. <laughs> like, it's really good. And I'm kind of sad that I tried it now mm -hmm. because now it's just here in the house. We gotta hide it. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, thanks for joining me on this culinary adventure. Um, we may do a few more of these as we sit here in, uh, in isolation and quarantine and can't go out and do things so we'll just try stuff here at home but thanks for joining us make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you got a cool beer recipe uh that maybe you think i ought to try please let me know i'll be glad to give it a shot bye guys